Welcome into our NBA TV studio. Kyle Montgomery here alongside Brittany Jackson, former Tennessee Vol, former uh, pro player overseas and here in the States. Here to talk about uh, this year's WNBA draft. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, first up, uh, obviously the first round pick uh, selected by the Atlanta Dream Team you're pretty familiar with. They took Angel McCautry uh, with the first overall pick. What do you think about that? Great pick. I think Atlanta really is trying to revamp their team. Last year, not too good of a season. First year team, mm -hmm. great, great offseason moves with signing Shamika Hoskall. So I think she's going to be able to take Angel McCautry under her wing. What better than Shamika Hoskall? She's a complete package. A lot of people compare her to a Cheryl Swoops type player. She can get to the rim. She can shoot the basketball. She's a great defensive stopper. I see her having a great career in Atlanta. Average 23 points per game uh, last year. Now, three of the first six picks in the draft were point guards. Surprised to see him pass up some of the bigger bodies in the draft? Not really surprised. There were a lot of great players in this draft, and all three of them were point guards in the top six picks. And a lot of people knew Montgomery, Renee Montgomery, and Christy Tolliver were going to be up there in one of those top picks. A lot of people didn't know about Breon January until the postseason. She really stepped her game up. She really brought Arkansas State through a great run in the postseason. And their point guard got hurt. She went from the two position to the one. And I think she is very versatile. She's really going to help Indiana this year. Any winners, losers in this draft? I, I wouldn't. You, you look at the draft board, and Minnesota really came out on top. They had three of the top 15 mm -hmm. picks. And, you know, they got the steal with Renee Montgomery still being available at the number four pick. Mm -hmm. And they also got Quanita Hollinsworth. A lot of people didn't know about her. She's a young player, 20 years old, very, very talented, very in intelligent. Mm -hmm. Graduated high school at the age of 16. You know, not many people go to college at the age of 16. Yeah. And so I think them getting a young player, she's got a long career ahead of mm -hmm. her. And then also Rashonda McCants from, from North Carolina. She's going to help them defensively. They, they got what their hole, their holes that they needed in their team. Now WNBA rosters have been reduced from 13 players to 11. How much more fierce is the competition going to be to, to get your spot on that team? Absolutely. I think it's it's really tough for the for the draft picks this year because teams are wanting players that can come in and make an impact now. So I think that these top picks first round going into second round, they've really got to go in and prove themselves because that's 39 less jobs with the Houston Comets folding this year as well. Everybody's got to come in and prove their spot this year. Now, you're a former Vol, played with Candace Parker, getting ready to have her baby pretty soon. How soon do you think she'll be back from having her baby? Candace Parker is a great competitor. Just being a teammate of hers, she's working hard, and she has a great body already. Mm -hmm. So I know she's taking care of her body. As soon as she can get back on the court, I know last time I talked with her, she's going to be there. She's ready to play, and she wants to be on the court. And she is. She is a phenomenal player. Do you think she can carry the torch kind of left by Lisa Leslie in the WNBA? Absolutely. Candace is just a phenomenal player. She's a player that everybody wants on their mm -hmm. team. We're going to jump on her back and ride as far as she'll take him. All right, Ms. Jackson, we want to say, say thank you for coming in, Thanks giving us your me. expert analysis on this day, and uh, we're going to make sure that you guys continue to be excited. WNBA is on the way. Training camp begins on May 17th. Now, I know I'm not supposed to give predictions yet, but do you have any initial thoughts on who you think may pull this one out? I think this one's going to be another tough battle, but Becky Hammonds and this Silver Star team really want to win a title this year for Be for Johnson. Being her last year, mm -hmm. they really want to do this for her. But on the other hand, Pondexter and Tarasi are going to come out with an attitude tonight. All right, we're going to send it on out to the game. Kevin Ray and Katie Christensen calling the action tonight. We'll see you guys at halftime. Stars coming off of that outstanding... I'm Mike Keith with former Bradley Central and Lady Ball star Brittany Jackson. And what we have here is a power and a team trying to become a power in women's basketball in the state of Tennessee. Clark Range is 38 and 0. Madison is 29 and 7. Maybe a little bit of a David and Goliath matchup. Absolutely. Clark Range is an absolute great team to watch on the floor. They play great together. They really like to use their bench. I think that could be a big asset to them today. And Madison, great team as well, but I think they're going to have to have a, some more people step up besides Faulkner today to win this game. Let's look. Get ready here in three, two, one. Action. Come on, you're you're supposed to open. You're supposed to open the door. What are you oh, doing? Oh, oh, are we on? Sorry, just oh, freshening up a little to, bit. Sorry. Here, of course. Man, does anyone have any oxygen I can borrow? Finally today, get up off the couch. 
come out, make a few phone calls, and I end up in a basketball gym doing exactly what I love to do. That's exactly what you need to do. Get up off the couch, enjoy this beautiful weather outside, do something you love to do. But don't forget, remember, you can TiVo Campus Connection on ESPNU. Back to you, Lowell. Three, two, one. I, <laughs> I know. Sorry, I was looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs>